This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomarito Automotive Group. Thanks for choosing News 4. Here are some of the stories making headlines. Testing done by the state of Missouri has detected the gamma variant in the St. Louis region. The sewer shed surveillance program drew a sample on July 27th. It showed about 3% of the gamma variant. However, since this is an emerging science, experts say they're not sure what the impact is here and they have yet to confirm any case of the gamma variant. But it is important to note that the majority of cases in St. Louis County are not tested for a particular variant. And it's not clear yet if the gamma variant is more or less dangerous than Delta. Most research right now shows vaccines still prevent severe disease with the gamma variant. Missouri Senator Roy Blunt was one of 19 Republican senators who joined Democrats in voting for the trillion dollar infrastructure plan. The 2700 page bill still needs to clear the House when it returns from recess next month. The plan funds $2.5 million worth of bridge rehab and pavement repairs in the St. Louis area. In Illinois, the bill outlines more than $12 million in extending Frank Scott Parkway. Lawmakers are also promising drinking water system improvements as well as a contamination study of Coldwater Creek. Let's get you a quick look at your forward forecast. Well, our heat advisory and warnings continue for two more days. That's why we have weather alert days Wednesday, Thursday, intense heat, 98 tomorrow, 97 on Thursday. The heat index on Wednesday, probably the highest around 111, 107 for the heat index at peak on Thursday. Now, storm chances are lower, but not out of the question on Wednesday. 10% chance for a spotty but heavy storm. All that humidity means if the storm does develop, it can be rather heavy. And a 20% chance on Thursday. Better bet for showers and storms on Friday, which helps cool it down a little bit. Still hot 90 though, but 60% chance for storms. Still very humid Friday. Big relief arrives on Saturday. Not only cooler, but much less humid. You're going to love the weekend with highs in the mid 80s. And then next week, looking at a chance for a shower storm on Tuesday. Steve, thank you. That is your news for update. Remember, we are always on at KMOV.com and on your KMOV News app.